Since we know that all women have a finite amount of eggs which can undergo ovulation within a single lifetime, we also know that a woman eventually reaching menopause is inevitable. Menopause is described as the cessation of ovarian function after the reproductive years end and is clinically defined as amenorrhea lasting 12 months. It is generally marked by a decrease in estrogen production due to the decreased number of follicles remaining. Some symptoms typical of menopause are featured in this illustration. Hair thinning, hot flashes, decreased bone mass, incontinence, mood swings, sleep issues, heart risks, increased adipose, thicker body hair, and vaginal dryness. Do you remember the average age of menopause? The onset is usually around 51, but certain factors can modify this. Smoking, for example, appears to lead to an earlier onset. Other conditions that can lead to early menopause include polycystic ovarian syndrome, premature ovarian failure, endometriosis, and any cancer of the reproductive organs. Full-on menopause is preceded by four to five years of abnormal menstrual cycles. A woman can be thrown into it immediately if estrogen production suddenly plummets, such as after a bilateral oophorectomy for ovarian cancer. Because of this drop in estrogen, the main source for estrogen becomes the peripheral conversion of androgens. The rise in level of androgens leads to the hirsutism. Some important biochemical changes to keep in mind are that FSH, LH, and GnRH increase secondary to the loss of estrogen negative feedback. This shouldn't be too hard to remember from an endocrinology standpoint. If the primary producing organs stop working, the hypothalamic pituitary axis responsible for stimulating secretion will ramp up. So in summary, what hormone profile is most specific for menopause? Yes, very important that you need to know is that in menopause, FSH is increased much higher than LH. And this finding is very specific to menopause. Not every female patient you encounter is going to hit menopause right on the money at age 51. So we need to understand that the cutoff window to investigate for irregularities is if the patient experiences menopause before the age of 40. This is pretty early age for this diagnosis and can be suspicious for primary ovarian failure. When investigating further into causes of early onset menopause, Remember that patients who have undergone chemo or radiation therapy may be more prone due to possible destruction of the ovaries during their treatment plans. The signs and symptoms of menopause can be summarized by the mnemonic HAVOX, and this stands for hirsutism, hot flashes, atrophy of the vagina, osteoporosis, coronary artery disease, and sleep disturbances. Thanks for watching, and be sure to click thumbs up if you enjoyed this video.